Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you how to use Notion to take notes and our recommended best practices. We'll be showing you a tour of our Notion note-taking bundle and the features that you can also incorporate into your own note pages. So let's get started. So this is our note-taking bundle Notion template and for this, we've actually organized everything into topics like this. And then we also created a bunch of note templates on the left hand side so that you can have a bunch of different templates depending on your needs. And each note gets categorized into different topics so that you can really keep it organized. And the way that we do this is by actually linking the topics with the notes. So as you can see, notes has been linked like this. And if you're trying to link a topic to your notes, all you have to do is to click the plus sign here and make sure you have two databases, one for topics, one for notes, and you just click here and then search for relation and you can easily set up a relation this way. So we really recommend organizing your notes using topics like this. And the other thing that we added to this note taking template is this date created. So we think that this is also a really useful feature for note taking in Notion because you can easily just add a time and date to anything that you add into this database. So it includes a date created and a last edited time so that you can always keep track of which notes you just touched recently and when it was created exactly without having to insert any information yourself. So we highly recommend adding these features if you're trying to create your own note-taking page. We also included a feature which is that you can add a review to it. So let's say that this is a note for your class. So class note and you need to review it later. And let's actually add this to academic so you can see the full thing. And then you would just need to review it so you can just click review and it disappears from here once you've reviewed it. And here you can see everything by last date edited and everything by date created. So this is a really handy way to keep track of your notes like this. And if we go into academic, you should see the note that we just created here as well, which is super useful. So in general, this is a really great way to keep track of your notes. And another tip we have for note taking in Notion is actually to create your own note templates through this blue button here. So if we click here in this note taking bundle, you'll see that we've created this entire list of templates for various note-taking situations so that when you do click into here plus new and you open it up you can just choose what note-taking style that you want so for example in this case if you wanted a Cornell note you could just click into Cornell note and it's going to load this handy template that we've created and you never have to think about creating a sort of layout for your notes ever again, which is really useful as well. So you just need to do it once and it appears like that. And if you wanna create a new template yourself, all you have to do is go to plus new template and set everything up inside this page the way that you want it. So we really recommend using templates to do this. And you can even actually say that you have a meeting note that should recur every week you can actually set that up as well through here by clicking the three dots here and then clicking repeat and how often you want it to repeat so this can also be super useful the next thing we wanted to show you is that you can also add ai to your note taking and for this you do need to have the notion ai upgrade so if we go to this note taking bundle plus AI that we've also created, you can see several properties that we've added to our note database. And there is this short summary, action plan, and five review questions. So if we open one up, you'll see that each of these properties have auto generated a summary, an action plan, and review questions. So this is a great way to make sure that your notes are easy to study with since 
it's just going to generate some review questions for you. And this is also a great way to show action plans of what you need to do next. If this is a meeting note, for example, and the summary property is useful because you can just see from the outside what this note even is about without having to open it one by one. So you could just click here to see what this is about. And if you're interested in adding an AI property, all you have to do is click the plus button and we'll show it to you in our note taking bundle preview. So if we click here plus, and then if you, let's say wanted a AI key info, you could click here and then you could say key info about this topic and save changes. And you could just click this update button to generate the AI key info. And since there's nothing inside here right now, it's not going to show anything. But let's say that here we wrote some notes like, what is Notion AI? Notion AI is a useful tool. And then now that we have something in there, you could click the update button. And the key info it shows is Notion AI is a useful tool. So obviously it's going to take what you put in here, but this is just a really useful way to use AI in your note taking. So we also highly recommend that. So those are some of our tips and a tour of our note taking bundle so that you can make an effective note taking page. And if you're interested in creating a digital notebook from scratch using Notion, we also have a tutorial for that, which we'll leave the link for in the description. If you'd like this note taking bundle or the note taking bundle with AI, we'll also leave the links to those in the description as well. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that was confusing in this video, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.